Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video we are making an Android project. The project name is how can we convert a website into an Android applications. And I'm going to create a playlist for the Android projects for beginners and also the intermediates and also for the expert. And we are going to upload so more videos on this playlist. So let's get started and jump on our project. For the testing purpose, we are going to use this uh, website. As you can see here, uh, this is my uh, knowledge doctor. Uh, this is the personal website for the knowledge doctor. And this is a website and I create this website using the blog spot. Okay. As you can see here, powered by blogger. So we are going to use this website and make this website in Android apps. So let's have a look the demo how the Android app actually look like. So this is the Android app as you can see here before the website. Uh, it's, it's this Android app of this website. So you can see a knowledge doctor. Okay. If I go down, you can see here powered by blogger. So that's mean this website you see before. If I click here, you can see here uh, all the navigation menu, also archive, also the levels. Okay, so you can see here all be clickable. If I go down and going to click something for so let's say I click on machine learning, so it will open. What is machine learning? Okay, I posted it here. If I go back again and going to go here, this number sign and recognition. So you can also see here this YouTube video you can play here. Okay. So in this tutorial, we are going to convert our applications in an Android app. So let's get started and jump on our Android Studio. So our Android Studio is opening right now. As you can see here, Android Studio powered by IntelliJ platform. So I'm going to click here to create a new product. And click here to empty activity and next. So what will be the application name? So let's say website to apps. Okay. And I'm going to click here to finish that. Okay. So it will take some time to actually uh, build the Gradle. Okay. To actually build the Gradle file. Okay. So now you can see here uh, Gradle is a build and uh, this is our main activity the java file you can also use the kotlin but i am going to use the java okay so now you can see here two files so first one is the activity .main.xml and another one is the main activity .java file so you can see a gradle is building yep gradle building is done so now you can see here there a file called manifest okay and there are some build gradle file you can see build.gradle okay and inside this manifest you can see here something the launcher activity intent filter and some cases okay so let's get started and go our code so first thing first you need to actually give the users permission to the uh, apps because we need the uh, what do you call we need the internet connection so that's why I go here on the manifest file and permit me to connect me the internet. Okay, so it's your first step. You need to follow that. Then you, you need to go here to the resource file and you can see a layout. This main activity, activity main.xml file. If I go here, split. So this is the latest version of the Android Studio. Okay, I'm using maybe 4.1.2. This is the latest version. So, okay. So you can see here this layout is right now constrained layout. Okay. So let's make it as linear layout. Okay. So let's remove this text view. So you're going to use the web view. So what will be the width and the height? So width should be match parent and this should be match parent. But why match parent? Because we are going to collect the possibility of the weight and the height should be full that's mean screen should be the full okay we don't put the uh, wrap content here you can also put the wrap content but the result it's not so good so you need to put here a id for that so let's say id 
id so let's say web bu id okay so make sure that id should be unique okay so this is our id and you can see this is our web view so we can access this web view from this xml file to the java file so let's go to the java file okay so this is the java file you can see the example dot website to apps this is our apps name okay and it extend the main activity to the app completely okay so you can see here set content view r dot lower dot activity uh, underscore main so this is our xml file okay so let's initialize our web view here so let's say web view let's put into a variable uh, let's initialize a variable for web view okay we are going to use that so web view equal find view by id so what will be the id of our web view so r dot id dot web view id okay if i click here you can see here android x app compound app compound app complete will be okay and also it will initialize the import the android web kit dot web view okay so we actually got our web view here so just you need to just click uh <coughs> type here web view dot load url so what will be the url name so i already copied the url link and the, the url link is uh, node0237.blogspot.com as you can see before so i'm going to pass it here okay so this is the link so i'm going to click here to run that so before running that i'm going to open my mirror that's mean my mobile phone mirror as you can see then i am going to click here to run that so now you can see here the mirror of my mobile phone i'm going to click here to run that and it again gone i think it is installing okay so now you can see here it's loaded this application website to apps oh what's the problem it's not open in our applications so it will open our default web browser so is there any problem yes there is a problem so we need to control that and we need to open this uh, website in our web view that's mean this website right now is not opened in our web view okay so that's why we need to create a web controller after after creating that it will you are able to uh, load this website in our android applications that means these web view which are designed to our activity main.xml okay so let's create a java class you need to create that and the java class we are going to create this name is let's say web view web view let's say controller okay controller so the web view controller would help us to actually control our website that's been our web view so it will help us to actually load our website in our android applications that's been not in our web browser okay so it will extend web view client and you need to override a method called short override url loading so you need to uh, click here to remove that so let's put into true and also you need to remove that okay follow me okay string url and we are going to use the view to actually load our url so view dot load to url and the url so this override method actually help us to load our url in our android apps that means it will not open our app website in our local browser okay so you need to go again on the main activity file okay and we need to call that so let's say web view dot set web view client new then the our name is web view controller okay and i'm going to click here to run that and let's open our screen so as you can see here it's before open on our browser 
so now right now it will opening success operation success so it will installing yep it's installed so as you can see here now it's open on our android app so if i click here nothing is happen if i click here nothing is happen if i also click here okay you can see here it is loaded but you can see here an error an error is occurred try watching this video on www.youtube.com so as you said as in early we see in our demo okay you can see here youtube video is also playing on this cage so but in this cage why it's not playing because in this case java script is not enabled so you need to enable that and also you need to remove these uh, title bar so let's remove it first <clears throat> so let's say get support action bar dot height so our action bar that mean title bar is height right now just single line of code for activating the javascript okay that's been enable we need to use this web setting okay web settings equal web web view okay web view okay this means the web view what is this web view dot get settings okay so now we need to enable this one so let's say web setting dot set javascript enabled you can see here just click on here and inside that let's put it into true so i'm going to click here to run the code again okay so it's opened yeah right now okay if i click here it will open if i click here it will open so let's say search machine learning whatever and going to click here okay so you can see here showing post matching the search for machine learning so you can see here all the post is regarding machine learning is appeared here if i go into click here and it will open and also see the videos one okay which is not playing before so now you can see here it is loaded so you can see a number sign recognitions and you can also click here for the copyright issue i'm not going to play it right now you can see here so many things i uploaded here and also you can see here the labels if i go here archive the archive and the levels if i go here and click on the deep learning project and it will give me the deep learning project page if i go here under development uh, it will give me the uh, android deployment part so as you can see cat and dog prediction android apps you can also check it out from here so cool uh, applications uh, and we are using the python uh, tensorflow carols and also the android studio okay so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never missing update thank you and bye bye